is part 53 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss configuring the NetTCP binding to use message security mode instead of transport security. The default security mode for NetTCP binding is transport. Transport security provides message protection, that is encryption and digital signatures at the transport layer. In this video, we'll discuss customizing the NetTCP binding to use message security instead of the default transport security. The MSDN link right here contains all the system provided bindings and their security defaults. If we navigate to that URL, notice the NetTCP binding right here. The default security mode is transport, but NetTCP binding also supports message and mixed security modes. Now let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's create a new project of type class library and let's call this simple service. And let's delete this class1.cs file that's auto-generated. To this project, let's go ahead and add a new item. And we want to add a WCF service. And let's call our WCF service simple service. And let's change the return type of this operation contract to string. And let's call this get message. And let's also include a parameter of type string. Now let's go ahead and implement the service contract within simpleservice.cs file. Let's get rid of this do work method. And we want this get message method to return a string. So we are going to concatenate the word hello with the parameter value and then return that string back to the caller. So we have a very simple WCF service here. Now let's host our WCF service using a console application. And let's call this console application host. Now let's build our simple service. And then let's add a reference to our simple service. And we also need to add a reference to system.serviceModelAssembly. So let's go ahead and do that as well. All right. Now let's go ahead and add the application configuration file within the host project. And within the config file, we need to specify the required configuration to host the WCF service. To speed things up, I have already typed this configuration. So let's go ahead and paste it right here. And look at the endpoint. We have the ABC of the endpoint, address, binding, and the contract. Look at the binding, it's net TCP binding. And if you look at the config right here, we don't have any section that customizes the net TCP binding, meaning we are using the defaults of net TCP bindings. And the default security mode for net TCP binding is transport. So at the moment, this WCF service is using transport security mode. And then within program.cs file of this host project, Let's bring in system.serviceModel namespace. And within the main method, we need to write code to start the WCF service. And to speed things up, I've already typed this code. So let's go ahead, copy, and paste this code right here. And then let's set our host project as the startup project. And then while we are here, let's also enable message logging. And to do that, click on Tools, select WCF Service Configuration Editor. Click on File, Open, and we want to open this config file. So let's open this app.config file that is present within the host project. And we want to enable message logging. So enable auto flash and enable message logging. And set this log entire message to true. OK, so at this point, we have message logging also enabled. So let's go ahead and run our WCF service by pressing Control F5. So we have the WCF service up and running. Now let's create a client application for our WCF service. So let's create a Windows Forms application. Uh, let's call this client. Let's drag and drop a button control onto this form. And let's actually change the text on the button to something like call service. And then let's also change the name of the button to BTN call service. Let's double click the button to generate the click event handler. Now let's add a reference to our WCF service. 
and the base URL is localhost 8080. Uh, that's where our WCF service is available. So click go. This should discover our simple service that's available at that address. And let's specify the namespace as simple service. So at this point, we should have the required proxy classes. So within the button click event handler, let's create simple service client. Let's call it client. And the client has got this get message method. And let's say we want to pass name as Prajim. And whatever string that we get back, we want to display that within um, message box. So message box dot show. We're going to pass that return value to the message box. All right. So now let's go ahead and run the client as well. And then click call service. So hello, Prajim. We get the message that um, we expect. Now, since we have enabled message logging, let's go to the host project folder within Windows Explorer and then inspect the logged message value. So if we navigate to the last message, and if you look at the um, XML right here, notice that the message body is in plain text. Okay, And this basically implies that at the moment we are using transport security. So transport security provides uh, message protection, that is uh, encryption and digital signatures at the transport layer. So by the time the message is arrived at the message log, it's already decrypted. That's why we see it in plain text. Okay, so this implies that the defaults of the net TCP binding are being used. Now, let's go ahead and customize the net TCP binding to use message security instead of transport security. And how do we do that? Just include a binding section and then specify the security mode as message. So here we are customizing net TCP binding. And look at this, we have given this binding a name called net TCP. And then within the endpoint, we are associating this customization with this endpoint using the binding configuration attribute. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's close the client and the WCF service console. And then let's actually navigate to our WCF service solution. So within the app.config file, just below system.service model element, let's include the bindings section. And we want to customize net TCP binding. So let's give this binding a name. Let's call it net TCP. You can give it any meaningful name you want. And then we want to set the security mode. So security mode equals message. OK, so once you have this section here, now we need to associate this customization with the endpoint. So we are going to use the binding name for that. And then go to the endpoint. And here, use binding configuration attribute. And then specify that name there. All right, so with this changes, let's go ahead and run the WCF service once again. And then let's go to the client application. Let's actually delete the service reference. And then let's add the service reference once again. So now we have customized the WCF service to use message security instead of the default transport security. And at this point, if you look at the app.config file of the client application, notice that you know this is the binding configuration uh, name. And if you look at that binding configuration element, okay, that's the one. And look at this, we are using NetACP binding. And if you look at the security mode here, it's message security mode. Okay, all right. So now let's go ahead and run the client application and then click call service. So we should get that message, hello Prajim. And now let's go to the log folder and then inspect the log. So now if we navigate to the last message, notice the body. So here we have the SOAP message. So that's the SOAP envelope. 
but if we scroll down here we have the soup body and look at the data right here cipher value so this is encrypted so the message is uh, encrypted here which implies that we are using message security and not transport security so it's very easy to customize you know the security mode and the client credential type in the previous video session we discussed customizing WS HTTP binding to use transport security instead of its default message security that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day